Hey you guys, what's good in the oh I'm in the wrong side of the oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> hey, hey you guys, what's good in the hood? I'm your girl Maisha with Maisha Both to Success and I'm back with another video. So I'm gonna show y'all these yoga stances that really have been helping me uh, with my dance journey since I've been going back because I haven't been to like been doing yoga the whole year. So I really hope y'all enjoy these yoga poses or whatever. So one of the first yoga poses that I really, really like is child's pose. And this is like really considered like a deep child's pose. But usually some people just be like this. So for people who blind, I'm pretty much, I pretty much got my, my, you know, I'm pretty much, you pretty much sit on your knees or whatever. And then you sit back on your, your heels and you reach forward or whatever. So that's one of the first things that we, that, um, that really came in handy and you should be able to feel it in your hips so when you breathe in through your nose out through your mouth keep in mind i am not trying to um teach yoga i'm just trying to show y'all the um yoga stances that i do because i guess i ain't certified so i'm supposed to be teaching but yes so you breathe in through your nose out through your mouth and that's how you're gonna really progress so i'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can sort of kind of see um the other yoga pose that we pretty much do so pretty much as you're in the middle, your hands are out, you're going to stack one hand on top of the other. So right now I'm going to put the right hand, uh, put the right hand to the right side and I'm, I'm going to stack the, the left hand on top of it. I'm going to still have my feet, my toes touching each other and my knees are going to be out. So, and then you reach over so you should be able to feel it in that left hip. So you see how it comes in handy. You're going to put the, breathe through the nose and out through your mouth. When you, we usually sit in this spot like, a good like three to five minutes. That's what my teacher was telling me that really comes in handy that help you progress or whatever. Ooh, this hair falling on my way. And then you go back into the center and you you reset again and then we go over. I'm going a little faster than what they would teach you in yoga or whatever. It's more slow paced. We be in about 60 to, to 60 to 75 minutes, like an hour, hour and 15 minutes. So uh, you can imagine how many stances that we do and how long you hold it. So now I'm on I'm switching to the other side, same position or whatever. And I'm breathing out. So you're gonna sit there, try to do these, like I said, every stance that I do try to do it at least three to five minutes to hold it there. If it's uncomfortable, you can modify it, but right now I can't show y'all ways to modify you go back in the middle and you go up. You pretty much go. So another one that we did that went like came in handy. This was more so for the chest because as y'all know, I'm going back into working out, so I'm gonna show y'all something, because this is how we pretty much transition. We pretty much go into tabletop. Tabletop is just like, for the blind people, it's just pretty much, um, pretty much like on your, 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 your hands and knees, pretty much like a dog or whatever. So you pretty much, you um, thread your hand out. So you have your arm to the side, like for the people who can see, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see what I'm doing. I think this will be a better view. You have your arm out to the side, you're still just like this, and you're gonna thread it through that arm. You're gonna go up over like this. So now the left arm gonna be under the right, and you're gonna come down. It's gonna still be in sort of kind of like a child pose position, but you're gonna come down, and it's gonna come in handy for that hip. You're probably gonna feel it in that right hip, I mean, that left hip, and you're gonna feel it in that left shoulder. And then, like I said, we hold it here. And then we just pretty much switch it. Whatever you do on one side, you always do on the other. But pretty much in yoga, we have we have this arm out a little bit more. Uh, oh, this hair is my way, her teeth. Sorry, y'all. Can't, oh, can't let this get weak, y'all. Uh, oh, all right. So the next one that we do, I think I got a turn. I'm not sure if I could, I can see it, which way I have to do it. But um, this one, you pretty much go on your stomach. You put the the right arm to the side, pretty much. You lift that, you keep that right leg straight, you lift that left leg up, and you bring you bring that that um that left you bend that left leg like a triangle or whatever. So you're gonna be like that, and you're gonna be you're gonna use that hand that's steady, that right, that left hand to push up, and it's gonna be pushing against your shoulder, and it's gonna also you're gonna feel it in your hips. So that really came in handy for my stretches and my workout, my um uh, my workout, and then of course you just switch over and do the same thing. You come back and you gotta reset. And you just make sure you rock your, your hips or whatever before you reset or whatever. It's, and here's another one I really wanna show y'all that I felt like could come in really, really handy. So I really hope that I can see. So this one, you pretty much lay on your back and right, so you, you spread your legs out like shoulder length apart. So your knees gonna pretty much be on in the air. Hold on, I'm fixing my tights. 
Yeah, these are pretty much gonna be in the air, and you you yeah, like showing them the part. And you're gonna pretty much wish your wife, like you pretty much rocking like your hip side to side or whatever. This was coming in real handy. Mindy had really, really made me fall in love with that. Well, with this one in particular. So you pretty much just walking your your rocking your your hips and your yeah, your hips side to side, like you wiping a rush and wiper or whatever. So I'm gonna turn this way so people who can see can see what I'm doing with my knees or whatever. So you lay on your back like this and your knees up in the air and you pretty much moving your knees just like this. And it's gonna be just like that or whatever. So and then for those who can see, you pretty much gonna your legs are still gonna, you know how you have those, you have your legs off to the side. Now you're gonna be stretching that hip. You're gonna feel it in your right hip. So once you drop it. Whichever side you drop, you're gonna feel that hip right there and it's gonna stretch it. And then, of course, you're gonna do the other side as well, too. And like I said, remember you gotta hold all of these at least three to five minutes. Don't do not hold it no longer than three to five minutes because you will get injured. That's a disclaimer or whatever. So as you come up, okay, so now I'm gonna show y'all another one that you pretty much do. So here you go, you can stay, you can keep your legs like this. Um, yeah, just like this, and you can just open this a little bit, and you can turn your body to the side, and you will feel a deep stretch more so in that right hip or whatever. <sighs> just like that. And yeah, so that came in really, really handy. And then, so now I want to show y'all another one, and this is going to be the last one, because this one is really one of the things that really came in handy, that really, that really was helping me progress as a dancer. Um, this one, I, I I never did this hip stretch before, but it was really, really cool. So you pretty much lay your back. This is not, you're not going to do Shavasana. You're not going to do that, which is laying on your back and hence the side. You're not going to do that. So you're going to pretty much hook your, uh, you thought you cross your foot, stand, like you stand up, you cross your foot, um, stand the over. That's what you're going to do laying down. But you also going to raise your hands above you and you're going to hook that, you're going you're gonna to curve your body over to the left a little bit. So you pretty much hook your right, so you pretty much hook your right um, foot over your left and you just hook your right hand. No, you just put, you just, um, you, you, now you got your arms at the top. How can I explain it? You, uh, dang it, up. Uh, and your arms are up and like over your head. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But you pretty much, you put, you pretty much got your, your um, you pretty much use your left hand. That's what it is. You pretty much use your left hand to stretch your, like to pull your right side over, and so that's where you will feel the stretch as well too. So, yeah, that's where you're gonna pretty much. And then if you have somebody to help you, you just pretty much get them to like. If you don't feel the stretch as your body curving over, you just have them adjust it to where you can feel it a little bit more and this was the one i had really loved so i really hope y'all enjoy and then of course when you finish and stuff like that you you um you, you do shabbat and and stuff like that when you finish all these things and that's laying on your back and relaxing and breathing in through your nose out through your mouth so uh, i really hope y'all enjoyed those yoga poses that came in really really handy for my my um dance journey uh i hope y'all stay tuned because i'm going to show y'all um where i'm where i've been at uh, like you know what what my flexibility and my um my strength is at far as like all the training I did I really hope y'all enjoyed this video I really hope y'all saw me because child I can't see I don't know if I was in the video camera or not I'm gonna be my issue with my issue road to success and I will see y'all in the next video